Season three, Learn at Home Worksheets are here. Do you watch Circle Time with Miss Monica? Did you know you can extend the Circle Time lesson right into your home? If you grab your bundle of My Learn at Home Worksheets, you'll be able to review the same skills we review during Circle Time. Every week, 12 new worksheets are delivered to the Learn at Home private platform. All you need to do is log in, click download, and print the worksheets of your choice. Sometimes I add extra worksheets and Craft Wednesday worksheets too. Grab your worksheet bundle today. See you on Circle Time. How are you, friends? My name's Miss Monica. What's your name? Oh, oh, I'm so happy you came to circle time today. Oh, did you hear that? Listen, listen. Put on your listening ears. <laughs> I think I hear our good morning train coming. The good morning train is coming. How are you? Choo, choo. The good morning train is coming. How are you? Choo, choo. time. I'm so happy you're here today. How are you feeling today? Oh, well, thank you for sharing how you feel today. Today I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good today. My friends, we have so much to do. Are you ready? Wonderful. Let's head to our circle time board. Come on, let's go together. Now that we're here at our circle time board, I need to find my my pointer, <laughs> my circle time pointer, so we can review our entire circle time board. Why don't we start with the days of the week? Will you help me sing? Great, we'll find out what day it is today. Get ready, get ready, here we go. There's Sunday and it's Monday, there's Tuesday and it's Wednesday, there's Thursday and it's Friday, and then this Saturday, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. <laughs> One more time. There's Sunday and it's Monday, there's Tuesday and it's Wednesday, there's Thursday and it's Friday, and then this Saturday, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. We did it. Oh, thank you, my friends, for helping me sing. But we still need to find out what day it is today. Let's go back to our board. Do, 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 do. Oh, yesterday was Tuesday. Can you say Tuesday? Tuesday. Now let's find out what the next day is. Do, 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 do. Oh, today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. 
Today is Wednesday all day long. Yes, today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday all day long. Yes, oh yes, my friends. Today is Wednesday. W for Wednesday. Can you say Wednesday? Great. Let's put it on the board. Right up here. And now we've created a sentence. Will you help me read it? Wonderful. Here we go. Today is Wednesday. Let's read it one more time together. Today is Wednesday. It sure is. Let's keep on going down. Do, 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 do. Ooh. It's time to find out what's the weather. What's the weather? What's the weather out today? Is it sunny? Is it cloudy? Is it raining out today? Oh, my friends, what's the weather where you live? You may have to go look out your window and then come back and tell me what you see. I'll give you some time. Oh, are you back? Great. What did you see? What's the weather where you live? Oh, really? Oh, well, thank you for sharing what the weather is where you live. Oh, my friends, I would like a turn. It's my turn to share what the weather is here where the circle time classroom is. Okay, will you help me? Wonderful, let's head over to our imaginary window and we can find out what the weather is here. Come on, let's go together. We're going to the imaginary window. Ooh, we're here. <laughs> we are here. Okay, my friends, let's look out the window. What do you see? Hmm, is it a snowy day today? Oh. No, it's not a snowy day today. Oh, my friends, is it? Is it, is it a rainy day today? Oh. No, it's not a rainy day. Oh, is it a sunny day today? Yay! Yes, it is. It's a sunny day today. Okay, my friends, we need to head back to the circle time board. We need to find a picture that represents a sunny day. Will you help me? Yay! Great, here we go. All right, my friends. Now, we need to find a picture that represents a sunny day. Hmm, let's see, is this a sunny day picture? <laughs> oh. No, this is a partly sunny day picture, but that's okay, let's try again, my friends. Is this a sunny day picture? Oh. Oh. Ooh, no, this is a rainy day picture. Let's try again, that's okay. Is this a sunny day picture? It is. It's a sunny day picture. Let's put it on the board. Do, 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 do. Oh, and now we need to read that sentence. Will you help me? Here we go. The weather is sunny. Ooh, the weather is sunny. My friends, I think we can help our friend Koala get ready for this sunny day. Okay, let's see what Koala has today. Ooh, well, Koala has blue sneakers and red sneakers. I think Koala would like to wear his blue sneakers today. Will you help Koala? Can you help him find blue sneakers? You can point. Point to the blue sneakers. Blue. Do, 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 do. Ooh, blue sneakers. If you pointed to these, you're correct. Blue sneakers, let's put these sneakers on Koala. Thank you so much, my friends. And Koala's also going to wear what color jeans? Blue, they match his sneakers, blue and blue. And it's a little chilly out, it's a sunny day, but it's still a little chilly. Koala would like to stay warm. So he's going to wear his hooded sweatshirt, the blue one. Can you point to the hooded sweatshirt? It's blue, which one is blue? Do, 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 do. Oh, if you pointed to this one, you're correct. Koala's hooded sweatshirt, here you are, Koala. Oh, and my friends, now, Koala needs to take some books, some toys. What can he put them in? Hmm, I wonder. Oh, a backpack? Oh, if you said backpack, I agree. He can put them in a backpack. What color backpack? Blue, blue. Oh, here you are, Koala. Blue backpack, blue hooded sweatshirt, blue jeans and blue sneakers. Koala is ready for this sunny day and it's a little chilly out. Oh, Koala, have a good day. We'll see you again tomorrow. Thank you, friends. You're such great helpers. Let's keep on going down our board.
Do, 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 do. Oh, letter of the week. Who remembers? Who remembers what the letter of the week is? What the letter of the week is? Who remembers? Who remembers what the letter of the week is? Do you remember? What's the letter of the week? Oh, it makes the sound volcano, vacuum, violet. Oh, who remembers its letter? Let me hold it up. You say it aloud, I'll hold it up. Here it comes, letter. Do, 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 do. What letter? V, <laughs> letter V. Every letter makes a sound, and V says V. That's right, letter V. Uppercase V and lowercase V. Let's put it on the board. Letter V. Thank you, my friends. Now let's keep on going. Do, 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 do. Shape of the week. Oh, what's our shape of the week? Okay, my friends, I'm going to hold up the shape. You say the name of it. Here it comes. It's coming. It's coming. Doom, doom. What shape? Is it a square? Nah. <laughs> it's a circle. Circle is our shape of the week. Now let's draw a circle in the air using our pointer finger. Okay, pointer fingers up. And remember, a circle goes around. It has no sides. Here we go. Around and back to the top. One more time, friends. Let's go the other way. Around and back to the top. A circle. Circle is our shape of the week. Now, let's go over to the other side of the board to our numbers. Will you help me count? Great. We're going to count today. We're not going to use any special clapping. We're just going to count the numbers. We'll start off slow. And then maybe we'll go a little faster. Let's see. Are you ready? Okay. Get ready, my friends, all my counting friends. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, we did it. Now let's count a little fast. Are you ready? You can do it. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, we did it. <laughs> Were you able to count? Wonderful, you did it. Okay, my friends, today is a very special day. It's Wednesday, remember? Today is Wednesday. And do you know what we do on Wednesdays here at Circle Time? Oh, we make something. We do arts and crafts. We make something special. And today we're going to make something that starts with letter V. Letter V. Let's head over to our desk so we can do our craft today. It's Craft Wednesday. Come on, let's go. Okay, my friends, we made it. It's time for us to make our craft. Now, today's craft starts with letter V, and let me tell you what it is. Remember, V makes the sound v, v for vase. We're making a vase. Would you like to see my vase? Oh, let me show you what it's going to look like. This is what mine looks like, but remember, yours can look however you want it to look. It will look different. Here's my vase. My vase! Oh, here it is, my friends. The vase. I made a vase and I used letter V. Here's my V, can you see it? V, V. And then I just put a little water right here and I added some special flowers and I used our circle, the shape of the week, to make a flower. You can use different shapes to make flowers, all kinds of colors, whatever you choose. Today we're making a vase. A vase is something you can put flowers in. You can even put plants in a vase. And we're going to make our very special vase. V vase. <laughs> Are you ready? Okay, so I'm going to show you everything you need. And remember, you can do it now. You can stop the video. You can come back later and do it. Whatever you choose. Just have fun. Here we go. And now it's time to make our special vase, our letter V, vase, V for vase. Okay, so this is what you need, my friends. You will need a 
piece of paper, any kind of paper, remember, and you're going to need to cut out a letter V, a letter V. Use any colors you have, any paper you have. You can also cut out, so you'll need scissors because you'll be cutting, and you also need some glue to paste or tape, and a marker because at the end you can write V for vase, or you, and you also need to write your name. I need to write my name as well, so a marker would be great. And then you can make your flowers using any shapes you'd like. So first we need some stems for our flowers. So you need to cut some rectangles, some skinny rectangles out. I use green, again, you can use any color you like. So you need some rectangles, okay? And you'll need some shapes, different shapes for your flowers, just like I did here, different shapes for your flowers, okay? So I'm going to move this one over to the side since it's done already, and that way we have more room. So these are all my different shapes. I can use any of these shapes for my flowers. Here are my rectangle stems. I'm going to put that to the side. And the last thing you need is any kind of shape, I have a triangle here, but any kind of shape to use for your water because I'm going to put this right under here and pretend that's the water in my vase because our flowers and plants need water so they'll stay alive. They need to drink water. Okay, so first thing first, we need to glue on, we need to glue on the letter V. Glue on your letter V. So I'm going to open up my glue, open up my glue and I like to use a glue stick. Okay, open up my glue and I'm going to put a little glue at the top some down here at the bottom, another little circle of glue and a circle of glue over here on this side. And then I'm going to tap, tap, tap. Place it wherever you like. I like to place mine a little further down by the bottom of the paper, almost to the bottom. And tap, 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 and smooth it out, smooth it out. Make sure it's on there. And if you need to add some more glue, add some more glue. And then I'm going to add a little bit of water in here. Let's pretend I'm putting some water in my vase. And so before I put that in, I'm going to add some glue on the back. I'm using a triangle. Again, you can color in blue here to make your water or green or whatever color you want your water to be. I'm going to use a little piece of paper. You use what you have. Now, because I already glued my V down, I should have probably added the water before I glued it down, but that's okay. I could pick it up a little bit and now add it. Dun -dun and tap, tap that V down again, because I had to pick it up a little bit. And now I have water inside my vase, my V vase. Okay, now I'd like to add some stems before we add those flowers. The first part of the flower, the stem. I'm going to add those stems. I think I'm going to have one go this way, one go here, and one go this way, okay? So once you decide how you want it to look, you add glue at the bottom of the stem, at the bottom, add some glue at the bottom. And then you can add more once you decide where it goes, okay? If you want your stem to hang a little bit, you don't have to glue it down. If you want it to be flat, then you can glue it down. It's up to you. I'm gonna add some more glue at the bottom of this stem, and then tap, tap, tap. And I'm going to add some glue at the bottom of this stem, and tap, tap, tap. Doo, doo, doo. Tap, 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 there we go. And now I need to add my flowers. Remember, I'm using different shapes for my flowers. I have an oval shape, so I'm going to use an oval. Put a little glue at the bottom of my oval. We'll add the oval on this side. I have an oval shape for my flower. Oh, I even have a circle shape. I think I'll add a circle shape. Circle is our shape of the week, right? So we'll add a circle in the middle. And then I have a smaller circle. I'll put that in the middle of our larger circle. Well, I've added a lot of glue there. Don't worry, I spread that out. And tap, 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 look at that. I use oval, I use circles. These are all the different shapes we've learned about. And should I use a triangle or oh, I made this funny looking shape here. I think I'll use that for my last flower. You can make a funny looking shape as well. Your very own shape. Tap, tap, tap. Oh, I can even put something in the middle. Should I put a triangle right on top? I think I'm going to put a triangle on top of that funny looking shape I made. And see that? You can use shapes for your flowers. <gasps> Look at this special flower. And there it is, my vase. V for vase, v vase. Now that I'm finished with the glue, I close it. I can put that to the side. And look, I can put all the extra pieces to the side. I can use these for something else, another craft. And then I can put this V back, V for vase. Here are my two vases. Oh, my friends, I hope you have fun with this. And when you're finished, you can even write down at the bottom if you'd like V for vase, or you can just write your name. So this one, I'm going to make sure I write my name. You wanna make sure everyone knows who made this special art. 
project or who did this amazing artwork. You want everyone to know, so make sure you write your name. I wrote mine, Miss Monica. And that is our craft for the day. I hope you all have fun making your vase and adding all of the beautiful flowers that you're going to add. Have fun and don't forget to share. We did it, that was so much fun. I hope you have fun making that craft. Even if you make it later, I hope you have fun when you do. Now my friends, it's time for us to sing our circle time song. Today's song is, the wheels on the bus go round and round. Are you ready? Okay, get ready, get ready. Here we go. <laughs> time today and I hope you had fun with Craft Wednesday. My friends, it's time for us to say goodbye, but I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye friends! <laughs>